All right, I'm talking to uh, both Anne and, as you can see, Francie Brawley, and we're going to be talking about the whole question of abortion. So I'll start with you first, Anne, if that's all right. Um, you resigned as a Sinn Féin member uh, fairly recently. Could you just very briefly tell us why that was yes. and how it links to your views on abortion? Well, I had been involved in Sinn Féin from about 2001. Uh, I'd never even been a member up to that, but I, I became involved and became a councillor. And it was, um, it was to do really with local issues. I was more interested in politics with the small P, not the big P, not at my age and uh, to look at what was happening within our community and to identify the needs and hopefully have them addressed because up to that we didn't believe that the needs of the community mm. were being addressed. But you've parted ways with them now. So then I parted ways with them and I parted ways with them when I realised that they were very supportive of the Mary Stokes Clinic coming to Belfast and because of their stance on abortion. What exactly is that again? Just remind us. Well, what happened was that Mary Stopes was coming into the north here, and as we all know, it is another multinational abortion clinic, and abortion is big business for people like that. And we felt that that uh, that, that we didn't need Mary Stopes. That what? within our laws, we can cope with people with a woman who has problems and who is is in a state that her her health. Okay. Her health is, is, is going to be is detrimental to her health and we felt that we didn't need Mary Stokes uh -huh. Clinic because that was opening the door to abortion. Okay, so uh, Sinn Féin's uh, position is that they are uh, against abortion except in cases of what is popularly known as fetal, fetal, fetal abnormality, rape and incest. Would you part ways with them oh, on yes, that? Oh yes, I parted ways with them on that because there is no such thing as fetal fetal abnormality. It is not a medical term. And children who have life-limiting conditions have lived beyond expectations. Nobody knows how long anybody is going to live, and that's the mystery of life. And I think for mothers, it is for mothers to have their babies is better for the mother and for the mother's healing. And we have listened to ver verifiable testimony of women who have said that having their babies made them more compassionate people and they felt good even with such a diagnosis as this, they still felt that they did the right thing. And you would take a similar view on, on rape and I incest? Well, I think rape, I think that what we have to look at, and I know again we've had testimony from people whose mother has been raped and that these people have said they thank their mother for giving them life. We can never target the baby in the womb. And this is where I think there is a huge problem, even within the medical profession. It is probably the only medical procedure where a baby is directly targeted and killed. Because, and doctors, doctors, I think, need to stand up and be counted because they have taken an oath to preserve life. Okay, uh, Francie, could I move to you and maybe you would talk about this organisation which you and Anne both belong to, which is Cherish All the Children, I think. Yeah, well, it's obviously, it's Republican inspired. Uh, obviously, what we all dreamt of was uh, a Republic of Ireland covering all of Ireland with all the values that Republicanism would, would give us. And among those, of course, uh, is the right to life, you know, uh, liberty, equality, and fraternity, that's that's the watchwords. And what do you uh, hope to achieve with Cherish All the Children, and how widespread is it as well, an organisation? Well, it's, 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 it's only very new, it's in its early stages, but it's, it's making a lot of headway, and uh, ob obviously we're well aware of the, the number of anti-abortion groups that are already going. It gives them support, and... Uh, you know, when when the word got out about this organisation, we were getting contacted by lots of other organisations uh, who certainly not, who wouldn't have contributed to any kind of Republican sort of thing here. You know, Protestants, the evangelists, and, uh, other other organisations fundamentally. And uh, our hope, well, my hope is, you know, I would love to see Ireland the same as Malta. 
where abortion is a crime, which it is. I mean, I am quite convinced that abortion is a crime. And I say that with, uh, you know, at the same time, we have to have compassion with people who maybe have done this, with women who have had an abortion. Uh, some, obviously, the, the world is hardened to it a lot now, but I don't think that's the case in Ireland. I think women in Ireland would still, it would be a very huge decision for them to, mm. to, to go for an abortion, and the aftermath of it, I think, would not be simple either. Uh -huh. You don't think it's a... Some people would say that it's a crime, perhaps, but it's a crime that is inf impossible to enforce the law against. I don't see couldn't... why. I don't see why. I mean, like, uh, we, we, we can enforce the law easily against people killing, you know, uh, human beings out of the womb. So I, I, have no, I have no... I don't make any difference. I mean... Mm. How would you deal with a woman, say, who is pregnant and who said that she was going to go to have an abortion, say, at whatever stage, 20 weeks or 12 weeks or whatever? Well, I mean, that's, that's the... I mean, if a woman, if a woman is prepared to do that, you know, if somebody comes to me and says, look, I'm going to kill that fellow there because he has annoyed me, well, I mean, then you, you know, I mean, that's fine, but to be up before the court, and uh, rightly so, and, uh, you know, you'll, you'll be sentenced to whatever is, seems, seems, seems to be appropriate. Yeah, I, I, in theory, that seems very reasonable, but aren't there thousands of people even here in the North alone, or in Ireland anyway, that go across for abortions. Then there's all the abortions that are uh, in England every year. Then there's all the abortions in the States. I mean, you're talking about hundreds of thousands, maybe into millions of people. Well, you're talking about at this stage, like you talk about the States. I mean, it's estimated that at this stage, since, since abortion has become an epidemic, that there's 50 million yeah, fifty million children have been killed. So how do you how do you would you arrest all those people? Well, obviously you, you can't arrest them all now uh, because no, the deal what they were done. doing was was they were they were they were supported and protected by the law. Oh, right, if the law you was know, against but, them, but the law has to be against that. I mean, that's it's just a terrible law that allows one human being to kill another human being. But would you concede whatever stage of existence that child is at, whatever its physical condition, whatever its origin, whatever the, its life, the, its estimated, its, its lifespan will be, it's, it's, a, it's a human life and it should be protected by law and by all of us, uh -huh. by, by our, their fellow human beings and they should be protected and uh, the thing is this, that if abortion wasn't an option, people would, wouldn't be able to use it. Who's making abortion an option? Fundamentally, or very largely, it's commercial interests. I mean, it's a huge interest, a huge mm. industry now. And, and to get back to the point about doctors, in England, doctors who do not want, you know, but it's, I, th I think people have become, they've become some sort of a newer to the notion that abortion is, is part of, of life now, you know. It's not, it's part of death, it's killing. You know, and you can call a baby a fetus if you like, just as, you know, the white man called the uh, American native savages, so mm. that allowed them to kill them. Mm. You know, and slavery, every, everybody, there was nothing, there was, it was legal to buy and sell slaves and to have slaves. You know, and in Germany, it was, it was legal, you know. In fact, you, it was illegal not, not to support the killing of Jews in their thousands. Um, that we have to think about this. We have to think that human, the human race, at every period, you know, when we started to stand up on our hind legs, ever since that time, these things have happened. At periods, and we, we have to look at this now. What we're doing, and what we're what we have invented now to get back to the German sort of the, the German situation in the in the thirties. What we're what, what we're experiencing now. It's a holocaust, a global holocaust of unborn children. What, what, uh, well, I'll come to you, Felix, and maybe, uh, what do you think Cherish All the Children ideally would succeed in doing? And would you put a time limit on them? Well, I think the first thing that we have to do is we have to let people know the truth about abortion. Don't they know it? 
I don't think they know the truth. In what way? Well, in so far as when we brought people out to one bag last week and we had our meeting and we had Father to be in there who spoke That's gave the them facts TD the in the TD South. in the South, who uh, Sinn Fein T D he spoke, he gave the facts about what happens with abortion, how many gendercide, how many women are missing in the world, what we've done, what women have done even that that they can support that against their own sex. And he talked about the poor people in places like America. I think it's about 60% of black people, uh, black babies are aborted. And when we go back to, uh, uh, it would take me too long to go back now to, do, to talk to you through that one. But I think that what we need to do, what people said at the end of it, they said, do you know something? We didn't really realize that's what was happening. We didn't understand. We just hear about abortion and, well, you get rid of the, the fetus and it's not really a baby and, uh, you know, that's all right. And when does it become a baby? And we said, well, very soon after birth, once the egg meets the sperm, hmm. Hmm. I mean, 24 to 48 hours, the egg lives. Yeah. Yeah. So within that time. Now, I can see from what you both said that abortion would be clearly a crucial Factor, you resigned from Sinn Féin, for example, yes. because they, they yes. go along with those uh, three cases of rape, incest, and fatal, yes. fetal, fatal abnormality. Um, well, I think another thing, and, and you know, as they say, a just and merciful and compassionate society does not kill people whose medical condition is life limiting. I mean, that's my final word, okay. I think, on it. Okay. We don't do that. Now, if, 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 it's usually something associated with the right in politics, whereas Sinn Féin would be seen as a left in politics. Mm -hmm. And you yourselves, I think, would probably yes. classify yourselves as being to the left in politics. But almost invariably, it's with right-wing um, people that anti-abortion is associated. For example, Trump is said to be anti-abortion. So, question, Francie. Yes. If you were in in the states, and Trump was uh, preaching or, or arguing an anti-abortion line for yes. his presidency, yes. would you have voted for him? Well, I, I I don't know if I would vote. You know, if I would vote on that alone, because I think that that the whole question of abortion is above politics. You know, it's for the it's for us. It's, this is why we are associating ourselves as Republicans and left wing Republicans. Uh, we fundamentally see abortion as as a matter for actually left wing people. If if and I don't like all those terms, because I associate with people whatever whatever political kind of viewpoint they have mm -hmm. or where they come on that spectrum. And, and this is one case where this is above politics, it's above religion, it's beyond religion. But you're going to have it's to get political human. if you're going to, you know, have laws enacted, uh, the law changed from the well, way it presently I mean, stands. I mean, well, it's, 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 it's the people, it's the people who, who drive politics eventually if they want to. You know, with the civil rights movement, that have seen lots of political changes here. Mm. That's when the people just got up and said, we don't want yeah, this anymore. Yeah. And like what, what our job is to get enough people to, to understand what's going on here. Mm. And, and as Anne says, like, you wouldn't believe how uneducated people are in the question of abortion because they... they, they you know, in what sense? In the, in, the, in, the, in the sense that they've been sort of brainwashed, but not necessarily. First of all, it doesn't happen much in where we come from, you know. Mm -hmm. It's it's not an issue. It's not an issue, but globally, it's a huge issue, and it's something that and it's an issue in Ireland too. There are a lot of women it, it is, of course, but it's, but it's not a huge issue as mm. the statistics would tell you. Yeah. it's not. That's not. Doesn't compare with mm -hmm. with with other countries in Europe. Uh, so fundamentally, you know, like whether you're left wing or right wing or nothing, but what what our intention is uh, in the cherries the children all together uh, equally, all cherries all the children equally, uh, having taken that from the proclamation, we're trying to uh, we're trying to instill into the Irish mind 
just what exactly those men who wrote that proclamation and who stood up in 1916 for the Irish people, just exactly what they would say about killing our unborn children. We still come back yeah. to... Uh, could, I, could I say, yeah. just, just Briefly, to continue yeah, with that, that, first, that it is very, very important that if the... And again, with republicanism, republicanism is about individual rights. It's about my right to conscience. It's about my right to self-determination. You know all of that. But I do think that fundamentally, my right is my right to life. I have a right to life. But my right to life is, is only my right to life, as long as your responsibility is not to kill me. So therefore, if you feel that you have the choice to kill me, therefore you have negated my right to life. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I don't believe that when it comes to killing, that there is such a thing okay. as pro-choice. Okay. But now, if we take the case of, I mentioned Trump to you, Francie, yeah. and uh, yeah. uh, if you take it in terms of Sinn Féin here, uh, would you say that a party that supports even to a limited extent abortion, that anything else they offer has to be joined the back of the queue? Well, the abortion we, must be the well we, have never, we have never said that. We have said that we will support Sinn Féin in different aspects of, of their policy. But we feel that when people are making policy, they need to make policy with a mind to their electorate. Yeah, but then... Not might... with a mind to uh, multinational abortion okay. companies. That's okay. where it should but make the back policy. Back to the, the, the point I was making uh, to fancy. If you were in America, would you vote for Trump? If he was, I think he flip-flops on us. Well, I mean, but uh, yeah. he has said that he has anti-abortion. If he were anti-abortion, would you go along with... Would you vote for him? Because he has a lot of other things that are very unpalatable. Yeah. And likewise, you know, in Sinn Féin, do you, you know, if you say, if they're uh, for abortion, even in these limited circumstances, that makes it impossible to square that with your conscience? Well, it, for it both? makes it impossible for me to square it with my conscience, because I feel that what we're talking about here is life and death. I think we're talking about possibly, and I would agree with a very eminent person who recently said to me, what we're looking at here is an end to humanity. We've looked at wars, we've said, well, wars, wars are to conquer, wars are to enslave, wars are to do things. But this, what, for instance, what Hitler did was he was the one person who directly hit at the Jews and said, we are going to wipe them out. Mm. And for, if, if the final solution had not come, he wanted to get rid of all the babies in the wombs okay. because that was the way to get rid of a nation. Are you a Jewish that? nation. Well, the thing about it is that what we're having here is is a direct, a direct sort of killing of babies in the womb, and 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 government and government supporting it. You know, mm -hmm. legislating. Mm -hmm. So what we really want to do here is legislate to support that. Okay. Okay. Now we get back to your question, yes, which was, uh, <laughs> is that much? If, if, if Donald Trump, for example, because he's anti-abortion, would I vote for him? No, not necessarily. But what I would support him in is his, in his anti-abortion stance. But you wouldn't okay. vote, vote for him. It doesn't, it doesn't cancel out everything else taken in the no, anti-abortion not stance. Not at all, not at all. But I'd agree with him, as I say, like, because this, this transcends politics. We're all human beings. It's, it's in we're, hu expensive. we're human beings first. We're human beings. First, we are, yeah. You know, yeah. and if as a human being he is saying he's anti-abortion, then you know, uh, I mean, I just accept that there, there we are now. That's a stance because, we must agree. I mean, I'm a member of Sinn Féin, yeah, and yeah. I'm speaking here as a member, as a member of Sinn Féin. I intend to continue to be a member of Sinn Féin, uh, you know, as long as, as, as long as, uh, probably as long as I live, but the. The situation with with the abortion thing is I'm I'm, I'm opposed to their stance. I'm opposed to the political people in Sinn Féin now. Uh -huh. Not all Sinn yeah, Féiners yeah. are pro-abortion. Do you think? Yeah. I mean, Sinn Féin have made this the whip, as they say. Yeah, yes, everybody yes. has to vote yeah. along to them. Yeah. Do you feel it should be a uh, matter of conscience? Well, I, I've made that quite clear to Sinn Féin. I've written, I've written sort of at length about the whole thing, and I think it's absolutely anathema 
to any Republican that a person should have, have to choose between a political party and, and his conscience. Mm. You know, yeah. it just shouldn't and happen. Was... And it doesn't happen very much in the world. It doesn't happen in America. Mm. It's, going to, it's going to be a question, isn't it, with this repeal of Article 8 in the South? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, let me, you know, the, 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 the point about repealing the Eighth Amendment is the Eighth Amendment protects you know, the unborn child, yes. remove it, the unborn child has no protection. Okay. No political protection. Yeah. And, and just to talk about the conscience, we actually brought, that's what we did, we brought a vote of conscience to the Sinn Féin Ardèche uh -huh. and, on, and on the basis, in Wexford, and on the, on the basis that to um, coerce anybody to vote against their conscience is a form of violence and it's also an abuse of power and it should never be done okay. because there is a court higher than the law courts and that's the court of conscience right. you know okay now you don't feel uneasy uh, the people who are your allies for example i can oh, think no. of nobody who would be further politically from yourselves than say the dup but the dup are a very firm voice well, sure. opposed to violence yeah. 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 opposed to abortion yeah. yeah. Well, you see, again, getting back to this, because this is above politics, I'm I've, I've, I've quite friendly with DUP people, you know, and I mean, they're, not, they're just as human as I am, you know, <laughs> so therefore we have common cause as human beings, and I have no difficulty whatsoever. In fact, I'm, I'm very proud of the position that, uh, that some of my DUP former colleagues take on this. Very strong, no apologies to anybody, you know, and they and hopefully you know they they will they they, they will prevail in in the, the coming debate on this motion that has been proposed by the alliance party okay okay now uh, just two questions because my viewers after 20 minutes tend to not off and <laughs> after 20 minutes <laughs> uh, two questions one is uh, we spoke before we started in this recording about showing uh, what happens to a baby or to a fetus, if you want to call it that, when it's aborted. And um, when that's shown on placards or that's shown publicly, some people say that's disgusting, that's, you know, distasteful and shouldn't happen. But what are your views on that? Well, again, I think that uh, this is the reality. This is a reality that we have to face. And only when if we saw someone pulling a little animal apart, I mean, we would recoil in horror. Why do we not recoil? I think it's because we don't see it. We don't hear the baby screams the way we hear the little animal screams. I mean, we would all be totally disgusted and recoil if we heard or if we saw an animal being torn apart. And maybe people need to see that to realise what happens to these little babies who are, before this happens, they're kicking in their mommy's womb, they're there, they're very much alive, and this happens. And, and in America, what's happening is they're, they're bringing the babies, they're, they're tearing the babies apart, and in such a way so that they can save the body parts and then sell them. In some instances, anyway. Oh, well, they've, they've been, Planned Parenthood are now before Congress at the congressional hearings because of what is happening in, in their Terms clinics. Of selling. Yeah. Um, my final question is, do you to feel torn between two allegiances here? Uh, Sinn Féin, both Sinn Féin members are former Sinn Féin members in your case. Uh, uh, they, at the moment, certainly have this line, and you're, I presume your natural tendency would be to go with them, yet your conscience is telling you that this is a wrong mm -hmm. thing. You don't feel you're caught, you find yourself on the side of the DUP, for example, rather than the side of Sinn Féin. Mm -hmm. Well, on the on the, uh, the uh, anti-abortion issue, I have no problem with being on the same side as the DUP or anybody else, including Donald Trump. You know, that's it, as I say, it transcends politics. This is this is a human rights issue, absolutely a human rights issue, and no politician. I mean, polit politics is a very low, uh, you know, is very low down the scale of human endeavour. You know, as an ex-politician, as an ex-politician. Well, I know you say because I have been there, and, and I mean, I, I, I can't think of. Well, anyway, I, I don't want to go on, and, you know, to put politics, party politics. Certainly, is a very low kind of 
very low down uh, in my estimation in, in things to be part of. Okay. You know. Okay. Okay. Do you want to say something finally about this question of torn allegiances, Anne? Was it difficult for you to resign from Sinn Féin on this issue? Well, I have a lot of very good friends in Sinn Féin. We're still very good friends. I mean, I, I said to them, I said, unfortunately, boys, you have left your republicanism behind you. And they said, not at all. I said, yes, because the cornerstone of republicanism is the individual conscience. It's not the collective, it's the individual. Okay, last, last question. Are you optimistic that cherish all the children equally is going to be a force to reckon with? Um, well, it's certainly, it is, it has made a very good start and as I say, we're, we're, we, we realise we're not on our own, you know, you know, we do have the DUP <laughs> and we do have various other, you know, the right to life, uh, every life counts, there's no end of them. We're, we're meeting with another group uh, uh, in Belfast on the 5th of December and uh, we're looking forward to that because this gives us encouragement, you know, it, 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 obviously the, the weight of publicity and media and all that is is on the side of killing babies uh, and and we just want to we, we we want to be together with people who are absolutely opposed to it and rightly so I mean I just I just can't get it out of my head that abortion is a crime against nature okay and do you want to say a final word no, well actually today we're meeting people from the evangelical Alliance who have been in touch with us because they believe that it is also a human right. And they're having a conference. There's a conference in Belfast on the 5th of December. And uh, we've been invited to go there. Now, I think, I think, it's, I think it's maybe not very popular that, that there's a, an, an eminent QC comment, a pro-life QC comment to speak to people at that conference. Are optimistic? Optimistic? Well, we're going to give people the facts. We're going to tell them the truth and then I believe in the goodness of the Irish people to do the right thing. <laughs> we, we lock all our doors. <laughs> <laughs>